What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to teach you a trick that you guys have to know that involves Drum roll please, hairspray. Yes, you heard me right. This technique I have been using for quite a few months now and it has literally saved my projects before I've started carving. Now, before I show you, I have to give credit where it is due. I learned this technique from Hunter over at US Skull Hunter. You guys go check him out. He carves deer skulls and all kinds of animal skulls, pretty crazy stuff, biking designs and all these different things. You guys really need to go check him out. He has some very helpful videos over there. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys this technique over this project I'm doing right now. This is a custom Viking axe. You can see all the, the penciling got done in there. This took me quite a few hours of messing up and erasing and, and penciling back. So here's the problem that we have when we go to carve this. When I take my hand piece right here and go to carve this, my hand's gonna be resting on the pencil dim part right here. And you know what's gonna happen is it's gonna start smearing. And you know what? From that little bit right there, I can already tell it's just smearing. And this has actually messed me up many times because I'm sitting here carving and then I go up here and I don't take the time to pencil back in my parts I rubbed out and I'll over or undercompensate my cuts. I have done this many times before I seen this technique Hunter taught over on his YouTube channel. First of all, you want to get into a place you can spray this hairspray. You can go outside or, or whatever, but I'm going to do it right here on my work desk because I need to cover up some specific parts. You want to be using aerosol hairspray. Do not use spritz, okay? The spritz has a little pushy cap on the top. This right here, just you press it down and it just continuously shoots out. So what I want to do right here, I have an area, you can see that I penciled in right there. I do not want to get hairspray on that. Now what you want to do is take the hairspray now and put a very thin light coating over the penciled in areas. Yep, it's already drying. It's just a tad bit tacky. Now I'm going to turn this over right here and I can tell where I smudged this at. I'm going to have to go back in where I was rubbing it at while ago and just kind of make my line stronger because you don't want to second guess yourself while you are carving, okay? You want all your lines to be nice, thick, and clean. So I'm going to go back again on this side, pulling back a little bit farther, and there we go. Now you can see where it's kind of wet right there. It's already drying. Let me get some of the sides here. The hairspray has preserved all my pencil marks. Now I can go in there without fear of smudging anything and messing anything up and just go through here and carve. Now you may be asking yourself, is this like permanent? How does this work out? Well, after you spray the hairspray and you carve, you want to take a piece of sandpaper and just go over it. Just, just go over it just a little bit. It will take that top layer of hairspray off. So I use this technique all the time and it has worked great for me. I really hope this trick helps you as much as it helped me. Now do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and hit the like button below and leave me a comment of the projects you're working on. I get a lot of people emailing me and just commenting on all my material, telling me the stuff they're working on. And I wanna hear from you guys. So just leave me a comment below and check out my friend Hunter over at US Skull Hunter. I will have the links in the descriptions below to his channel. Y'all have a great day.